Now to South America, where Argentina elects a new leader for the first time in 28 years, a Kirchner won't be on the ballot. President Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner's second and final term is coming to a close, but her family's legacy is really far from over. CCTV's Joel Richards is in Buenos Aires. And Joel, there are three leading candidates. Will there be a definitive result, or is a second round expected Sunday? Afternoon, Susan. Well, for there to be a definitive result and a president-elect come Monday, one of two things needs to happen on Sunday, and that's for the winning candidate to either take 45 percent or to take 40 percent and have a 10-point advantage over the nearest rival. And it's this second scenario, the 40 plus 10, that seems the most likely. But really, Susan, none of the pollsters are willing to call it. Uh, Daniel Scioli is the presidential candidate. He's the governor of the Buenos Aires province. He's promising continuity of, of government policies with moderate changes to the economy. And he's on the very cusp of this 40 percent that he needs uh, to take the win. Now, following him, chasing him, is Mauricio Macri, the former Buenos Aires city mayor, who's a uh, pro-market. He's looking for a more open economy. And he's hoping to take this to a second round, a head-to-head, -head, which would be uh, within a month's time. Uh, there are six candidates in total. One of the other leading candidates, uh, is Sergio Massa, the former cabinet chief, who's hoping to spring something of a surprise, but it does seem he's, he's lagging somewhat. So uh, it's, no one, no, it's still very close to call, no one uh, wanting to call it just yet, Susan. Joel, so what is the role that Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner is playing in the elections? This is very interesting, Susan, because uh, all of these candidates represent change to a varying degree. And yet, at the same time, Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner ends her two terms of office with extremely high approval ratings. Most polls put it in the region of uh, 50 percent, very high after eight years of government. And if we take into account her late husband, Nesta Kirchner's first term of office, these are 12 years that really have transformed Argentina. Uh, the economy performed well in the early governments, but less well in the more recent years. And that's really the key point that is decided these elections but nonetheless socially inclusive policies have been the hallmark of the Kirchner government and which have led to Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner as I said having a very high uh, popularity rating as she leaves uh, she's constitutionally barred from another term of office so on the one hand people very happy with uh, with the outgoing president but at the same time the majority of people wanting change here in Argentina what we'll see on Sunday is that degree of change that they want. Joe Richards thank you for that joining us live from Buenos Aires.